Good morning, scholars. Today we're going to continue our way through Farah's Homeric Greek, a book for beginners, looking at lines 6 through 10 of Book 1 of the Iliad. Okay, we'll begin by looking at the preparation that Far gives in his prose version. Number one, they are a ese menen akileos et who from the time when, beginning at the point in the story, ex hu de ta prota, dios akileus kai atre ides, anax andron erisaten, kai dies de ten. Again, de a a e se menen akileos. Ex hu de ta prota, dios Achilleus, kai atreides anax andron, erisantein, kai dies de tein. Number two. Tis de on sun e eke, dion Achillea. Te kai a tre i dain, eredi ma gestai. Again, tis de on sun e e ke, dion a kilea, te kai a tre i dain, eredi ma gestai. Number three. Weos leitos. Kai dios, heke bolos, sun e e ke spel e, eredi ma kestai, ton ga basileus atre ides, e kolosen, hode, orse kaken nu son, anastraton akaion, oleke, de la us. Again, Wios le tus kai dios heke bolos sun e e ke sfoe eredi ma kestai ton ga basileus atre ides e kolose hode Orse kaken nu son anastraton a kaion o leke de laus. Now this sentence three, these last couple of clauses, ton gar basileus and hode orse, this is a good example of what will become the uh, definite article in later Attic, serving as simply the third person personal pronoun. So, ton gar basileus atre ides e kolose. The tone is equivalent to auton or him, gar, for him, king, the son of Atreus, you know, Agamemnon, e kolose, he pissed him off. And then, hode, ho refers to Apollo, and he, Orsa, and he stirred up Kakein Nuson Anastraton Akayon Oleke de Laus. And again, Oleke has as its subject uh, the Ho referring back to Apollo, that is also the subject of Orsa. Ho Dorse Kakein Nuson Anastraton Akayon. Oleka de Laus. Okay, so that's the prose version. Um, the important thing is to make sure you understand what the endings are doing, the terminations of the words, whether they be verbs or nouns, um, and that you can specify the tense and number in person for the verbs and the case and what that case, the purpose of that case is for the nouns and adjectives. Okay. So let's look at the actual uh, lines, ten, six through ten. 
et hu de ta prota, dias de tein erisante. Atre ides te vanax andron, kai dios aquilius. Tis tars poete on, eredi sune eke macestai, le tus kai dios vios, hoga, basilei colotes, nu son anastraton, or se tacen. Ole conto de la oi. Again. Ex hudeta prota, diaste tein erisante, atre ides te vanax andron, kai dios aquilus. Tis tars foete on, eridi sune eke majestai, Le tu sky dios vios, hoga basile i colotes, nu son anastra tonos kaken, ole conto de la oi. Okay, so our commentary for line six. Who is a genitive form of the uh, definite art of the hos he ho? actually the relative, from which time, ex who, from the time when, and it refers back to Aeda, the poet's asking the muse to sing through him of this poem, it starts beginning at the point where those two guys fell out. So Aeda, ex who, sing goddess from the point where, and then ta prota, uh, far refers you to 781, 82. It's not uncommon for the article to come before uh, adverbial, you know, to be part of an adverbial expression. Ta prota, you know, first of all, or yes. And diaste tein is a form without the augment. Again, um, Homer's not obligated to use the augment because it's, he's existing in an early, earlier period of the language. So the aste tein is equivalent to what in Attic would have to be the aste tein. And we'll talk about this dual form in a second. Likewise, erisante is an aorist, first aorist active participle, nominative dual masculine. They too having quarreled. And we'll look too at the forms of that. So ex hu de ta prota diaste tein erisante. And then so uh, looking more closely at diaste tein, this is a duel of the third person. And so here I've displayed from Smythe uh, 462 and 416. First, his overview of the endings the primary tense endings, and then the secondary tense endings. And you'll see, looking down the duel, and this is why I have not uh, included the duels in our uh, regular going through of the endings of verbs, is because they're so uh, uncomplicated. The three forms being identical, ton, 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 and then tain. So in the second person duel, you two, you have ton, they two, you those two, or the you know in the after primary in primary tenses you have ton again tau omicron nu, and likewise in the second person dual of even the secondary tenses you have tau omicron nu. The only form where you have tau eta nu is in the third person dual those two of the secondary tenses. So here we have a second aorus diaste tain, you know, those two uh, went asunder, quarreled, fell apart, okay? And so here I have the, uh, next to that from 416, Smythe, the declension of estain, the second aorist of histemi, histeme, um, which 
is often uh, compounded with a prepositional prefix, in this case, de a. And again, we're looking at an unaugmented form, but Smythe gives us the augmented versions. So we have estain, I stood. Remember, this is intransitive, like I stood over there by the, uh, by the car. And so this is Agamemnon and Achilles standing apart, standing asunder, you know, fighting. Okay. Um, este, estein, estes, este. But then you have the dual, esteton, estetein. So that's what we're looking at here. Diastetein. Uh, from the time when they first stood apart. So, esteton, estetein, estemen, esteta, estesan. These are our endings of the uh, second aorist of uh, histemia. Now, for um, erisante, we saw in an earlier lesson the way pas, every or all, is declined. And the first aorus participle declines very similarly to that. So if you put beside one another the declension of the adjective pas or every all um, and lusas, you will see uh, that the similarity. But looking down at the dual forms, we have, uh, again, the nominative, accusative, and vocative share the same forms, and the genitive and dative share the same forms. So here we're dealing with an accusative. So we're looking at that first line, masculine, lu santa, feminine, lu sasa, and then uh, neuter, lu santa. So the epsilon ending is going to be our ending for the dual. Therefore, we have ex hu de ta pro ta, Diaste tein erisante. Um, and so, uh, having fought, having, or having contended, having quarreled. Erisante, the two of them. So, uh, commentary for line seven. Seven is in apposition with the subject of diaste tein. Okay, it's telling you who these two are. The son of Atreus is Agamemnon, commander-in-chief of the Allied Greek military expedition against Troy, undertaken to bring back Helen, wife of Menelaus, brother of Agamemnon. She had been stolen away from her home in Greece by Paris, the son of Priam, and was now in Troy. So te anax is te wanax. I'm showing the digammas in our text using the text of Becker. Uh, the son of Atreus was so well known to Homer's hearers, it was not necessary to give his name Agamemnon. Atreides te wanaxandron kai dios Achilleus. Commentary to verse 8. This verse is a rhetorical question addressed by the poet to his audience to arouse attention and curiosity, and which he then answers himself is a the common device of public speakers. So sphoe is a third person accusative dual. These two, uh, we treated it in our previous lecture. Eride is a dative, adverbial dative of manner, you know, in contention. And makestai, we'll talk about this infinitive form. Uh, it's a deponent, meaning it has a middle form, but active meaning to fight, present active from Makomai. So tis tars vo et on erede sun e eke makestai. Makestai. Okay, uh, commentary line nine. Basile e. Here we have the alternative form of the dative of Basileus, which we talked about. Kolotes. This we have not seen. It's an aorist passive participle, nominative singular masculine having been enraged. Okay, we'll look at these forms of the parsable later, uh, the passive parsable later, uh, and we'll be talking about the passive soon, so just uh, roll with it. Letus is the genitive form of leto, which we looked at. 
Basile i equals Agamemnon, Agamemnon, uh, he's the king, and Leitus Kaidios Wios equals Apollon, who was immediately the cause of the quarrel since he brought a plague upon the Greeks which gave occasion for the strife between Achilles and Agamemnon, as we will see in marvelous fashion. So, Leitus Kaidios Wios, Hogar Basile i Kolotes, and I mentioned that ho is the use of the uh, relative as a definite article. He, having been angered or being angered at the king at Agamemnon, hoga basile i kolotes. Okay, and uh, kolo all takes that dative. You're angry at someone, having been enraged at someone. And then commentary to line nine. Nuson is emphatic in position, as is cocaine, which is further explained and expanded by the following clause. Ole conto is, again, our unaugmented form. Ole conto, from oleko, imperfect, passive, indicative, third, plural, were being destroyed, kept perishing. We'll see, talk about these passives soon. And la oi is a word for this, the soldiers of the Greek army. So nu son ana straton o seka ken o le conto de la oi. So here we are the whole. Ex hu de ta prota di aste ten ere sante. A tre ides te vanax an dron kai di o sa kileus. Tis tas vo et on ere de sun e eke ma kestai. Leitus kai dios huios, hoga basile i kolotes, nu son anastra ton oese kaken, o le conto de la oi. So let's do this in bits. Repeat after me. Ex hude ta prota. Diaste ten erisante Atre edes te wanax on throne Kaide osaki leus Tis tars poet de own Ere de sune e ke ma kestai. Leitus kai di os vios. Actually that yield is short, so leitus kai di os vios. Hoga basileie kolotes. Nu son anastra ton or se kaken o le conto de la oi. And again, that alpha is long, so o le conto de la oi. Okay, the whole thing. Ex hu de ta prota dia ste ten eris ante. Atre ides te vanax andron kai dios akileus. Tis tas foete on, erede sun e eket makestai. Leitus kai dios vios, hoga basile i kolotes. Noson anastra ton oese kaken, o le conto de la oi. Now note uh, the dios, shining, marvelous, Achilleus, versus dios, the genitive form of uh, Zeus. And the one has a long iota, dios, and the other is dios. So it's very important to pay attention to the accents and quantities and such to uh, 
distinguish between those two words. Of course, the capital of the delta for Zeus will help, but nevertheless, it's important to be aware of your quantities. Okay, so keep working hard. Um, I hope you're enjoying your foreway into the Iliad, and congratulations for having gotten this far. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.